Hello and welcome everybody to the WTN channel. Our topic today is the surf for beginners. We will walk you through all the major points for you to hit your first surf inside the court. We will talk about the correct stance, the way you need to grip the racket, how you have to toss the ball, and of course, where you need to contact the ball. I know you are excited, let's get started. Let's talk about the correct stance for your serve. For this, it is very important that you are always standing sideways with your left shoulder facing towards the net. Your feet should be round about shoulder width apart, but they shouldn't be standing parallel. Your right foot should be a little bit behind, so the toes of your right foot are aligned with the knuckle of your left foot. The professional grip for your surf is kind of a backhand grip. To find that grip, let the frame of your racket face towards the floor and grab the grip from above with your hand palm facing towards the floor. Now the knuckle of your index finger should be roundabout aligned with the front edge of your frame. But with the professional grip, with the backhand grip, there is an underarm rotation required to contact the ball properly. This could be very tough for you if you are a complete beginner. So I recommend for you to take this grip. Let the strings of your racket face towards the floor and now grab the grip from above again with your hand palm facing towards the floor. With this grip, you don't need any underarm rotation to contact the ball. Now let's get to the ball toss. Take a ball in your left hand, but make sure the ball is not lying in your hand palm, but that you're grabbing it with your fingers. Also be very careful that while tossing, your arm is straight the whole way through. You don't want to be using your elbow to throw the ball, otherwise the ball won't be flying straight upwards. Now make sure when you toss the ball that the toss is in front of you. It's where your chest is facing. It's very important for you to release the ball at the height of your nose. This way the ball is going to go straight upwards. If you release it too early, the ball is going to fly away from you. If you release it too late, the ball is going to fly behind you. I recommend for you to keep it easy that you lift your arm and bring it in the right position before even tossing the ball. Now to find the correct position, make sure your elbow is lifted up high and it's aligned with your shoulder. Keep the racket close to your head and the tip of your racket should be facing to the front upwards to the ceiling. Now that you have the correct position for your serve, we need to know how to swing the racket to the ball. Make sure that you're not going straight from here towards the ball because you won't be having any power or control. From this position, you want to make a small loop behind your back before coming upwards towards the ball. While doing this loop, the tip of your racket will be facing towards the floor completely before you swing the racket up to the ball. Make sure that this movement is very fluent. You don't want to stop at all. This should actually be the fastest part of your surf. Another important point is that your body weight is on the ball every single time you surf. This way we're gonna have much more power and we're gonna be way more precise. So make sure whenever you go to toss the ball that you lean to the front with your body weight. You don't want to hang there and stay in one place while tossing the ball. Okay. 
Where do we want to contact the ball? We always want to contact the ball as high as possible with a fully stretched arm. Now make sure your body is still sideways while contacting the ball. Your left shoulder should be still facing towards the net. And your racket face should be flat on the ball. You don't want it to show to any other way than flat. After the contact point, you want to follow through the ball with your racket as far as possible and swing the racket next to your left leg. After contacting the ball and swinging through the ball, make sure that you land on your left foot inside the baseline. This was the first serve for beginners here on the World Tennis Network. Now you all should be able to hit your first serves inside the court. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, we will answer them. Now hit the like button, subscribe the WTN channel and I'll see you next time. <laughs>